All right, it's time to light our darkest hour. What's going on, everybody? This is Super Robot Ed. We got him. Yes, we got him. It is the Transformers Kingdom Commander Class Rodimus Prime. And I got him a few days ago, but I had to spend some time with him to transform, get used to him. And I'm still not used to him. So I'm probably not going to do transformations or anything like that on camera. Um, but I got to say, overall, I'm impressed with the vehicle mode. I just wish the rims were painted. So I had to actually remove the chrome because there was a big screw up on it. And I had to take it off. And I still got to take some off here and it sucks that i gotta do that but there are some wheel covers that are on the way so for now i've got this weird wheel look and he does roll yes he does of course those flip up and he does do the rolling as you can see here and it's pretty nice he's from the front here he is from the other side and here he is from the back and he's got a lot of compartments here. So we're going to talk about that in a minute. But first things first, let's look at the box real quick. And this is the box for Rodimus Prime. And it's a nice box. You can see it here. And you can turn it around. We can see, you know, where it says it's 34 steps to change it. Now, what's odd about this, he has clear smokestacks. The Matrix and the uh, the uh, sparkle effect is a light blue, where he comes with everything else is a dark blue. Um, I don't get that. You know what I'm saying? Like I've been kind of, what's going on with that? But you know, this is the box, and we got a mouse. The paperwork. And where is the paperwork? Oh my goodness! I think I lost the paperwork. Nope. Here it is. And it's in that green booklet style that everybody loves. And these are the instructions. So you know everything is in green. And it's clear. You could see it. I mean, this is what you're going to get within the box. And I know a lot of people are like, I want to see the instructions. <sighs> Some of y'all. And this is how it looks. It tells you how to do everything. And, you know, I, fortunately... I'm a visual aid kind of person, so I don't read those. And this is the card. Uh, it says a uh, Predacon Black Arachnia. And I think if you peel it back, you have Black Arachnia again. So you can see that for you card collectors out there. I don't buy Transformers for cards. Sorry, not my thing. And it came with this piece of paper, so you guys can see that as well. And we're going to get straight into comparisons here. So first things first, he's pretty long. He's a pretty long guy. You know, just right off the bat, you know, you're going to, you, you, you're just going to notice that. And I know a lot of people hate the cab. Basically, the cab is Rodimus Prime, but he's just like a off-road hot rod. And yes, I'm doing this on camera. Because I am pressed for time, y'all. I have, I actually have to do <laughs> video editing for somebody else. So, sorry, y'all. You're going to see some of this. But, overall, I wish the wheels were painted. I did, like I said, I did try to paint them, and I messed up. I do have a chrome pen, but it, it just, I it's too big. I need the smaller, more precise one for this job. So until that happens, I'm going to buy these $5 wheel covers off of Etsy. Um, I don't have a link right now, but maybe at the end of the video when I finish my editing, I'll throw the link in there um, because it's going to make it look a lot better. I mean, this this deserved to have paint for an $85, $90 toy. You just, Hasbro, this is unacceptable, man. And this is a nice piece. I know a lot of people don't like the fact that he sticks out too long, but still, it's it's amazing. I mean, it just looks good. And yes, I got to clean up the other side. Yeah, it was, it looked good. And I just, you know, I tried to touch it up and I just screwed everything up. So this is 70% alcohol, not 90%. I wouldn't advise against using 90% alcohol, please. You know, be kind to your paint. Because this paint is cheap 
believe it or not, because it comes off. You know, I've got paint that I it, it I paint Gundam. When I start doing my Gundam reviews, you'll see that. Um, but yeah, he comes with these effects. And these are the weapons. So you get the sword. As you can see that there. Nice silvery sword. As you can look at that. Looks really nice. I like that sword. I like that sword. And he comes with these black smokestacks, which is, what are we, polluting here? You know what I'm saying? And he's got the Rodimus Prime rifle, which does the same folding action like Optimus Prime's folding rifle. So it opens up and folds out like this. So that's, you know, we're going to see that it's thin, but it's the Rodimus Prime rifle that you see in G1. And he also comes with other uh, blushing effects. So you get these nice blue blushing effects here. Here's another one. Nice blue blushing effects. It's very nice. Um, and like I said, they do duplicate a lot of it. Now he does have the Matrix uh, other blushing effect like the uh, Hot Rod but it's a darker blue so these are all of them and i mean they're pretty much the same i mean you know excuse me all, all around pretty much the same and i mean here's the other one and and just to let y'all know i just really opened up the weapons today so we're just doing this live man I, no script that's how i work and so yeah these are all these wonderful effect parts so he gets kind of like the almost the same treatment as commander class jet fire we're going to compare them so basically you can do this and as you can see here you could see where it goes and you just kind of i think i got it the wrong way so i may have the wrong side but you do it like no no i guess it's this way and you just kind of put him in there and it looks like he's got the black flame coming out of there which I would think that they would give him more of a reddish color. Like, it's really just not... It's kind of nasty, you know? You're, what are you, that's pollution, you know what I'm saying? But I guess it is what it is. Um, and then you can use these here on the weapon so you can give it that, like, you know, fire. Um, you can use these and give it on the cannon as well. And we'll show that later on in the video. And then this is the sword. And the cool thing about this Rodimus is he has storage. Golly, man. See, this is why I hate all this chrome, man. <laughs> like, dude, I had way too much chrome on this thing. And it spilled over onto the onto the toy. So we're, we'll definitely have an edit point here. So yeah, I got to clean this up because we are definitely pressed for time. Luckily, my friend doesn't need to go anywhere today. All right. So in the back here, you see these levers. And they're just like that. And everything just kind of opens up. And you just kind of pull it down. And you can put the weapon. That's where I put the cannon back here. Now, you can fit, like, Bumblebee in here. But that's about it. Like, you really can't fit, like, a, like the Voyager cars, but it's still a lot better. And you can see the ramp. I mean, the ramp, even this plastic, is a lot better than Optimus Prime's trailer. No, I do not have Optimus Prime's trailer because of the fact that um, I don't even know where the box is. And I think my wife said that I had my other stuff in the garage, so I'm not fighting to go through that and deal with spiders. <laughs> Just. I ain't in the mood. <laughs> I had to go in there the other day and it was rough. Let me just tell you. As you can see, everything just kind of folds up. And you can see these levers here on the back. And uh, yeah, be just a few moments. We'll be right back. All right. And then here is a storage bin. You can store your weapons in here. And then just close it back up. And you have storage there. And then there's also storage up here. And so if you want to put your other blushing ports and things, you can kind of stick them there. Now, all are not going to fit 
like the bigger ones I don't think they're really going to fit but you can actually you know store some of them in there you know if you're on the go and traveling around and we're going to keep them like that now the only gripe that I have and let's move these out wait for a second the only gripe that I have right now is just the trailer doesn't stay exactly closed I know some people have had it where it's just incredibly annoying but I've got it to stay pretty much closed for the most part so I'm not going to complain and the underside let's take a look at that that slides out I'm sorry <laughs> it's just clean I mean, it's just clean um the weight is pretty good I don't have a wear so I don't know the exact weight this is going to be kind of odd here um but yeah you know he's he's Rodimus through and through and we're going to compare them to a few things now starting off I know a lot of people complain because they said, you know, for a commander class, it's just going to be a trailer and a cab. But the trailer is way more substantial than Optimus Prime's trailer. It is. I mean, Optimus Prime's trailer is, is just garbage compared to this trailer. This is a much better trailer. Um, but, you know, comparatively, the majority of him is the trailer. I mean, like... <sighs> I'm going to say that this is more substantial than him, uh, weight and what it does. I mean, this thing does, it's a base, it's two people, it forms one people. I mean, it's a million things you can do with this and it's compact. But as you can see, I mean, they're pretty much, you know, the same size as far as length about, not the same size, but it's just the girth of it so you know this is your first commander class that you want to look at and then of course we're going to bring out the other the big boy and i have never reviewed him before and i probably won't because <laughs> i'm already like i'm you know over over him like i but i still me and i over him i still like him but here he is next to commander class Jetfire, and you can see like pretty much where they stand you know like they're they're the same size but he jet fire to me is always going to be like probably the best of commander class because he of his size in robot mode and in jet mode so like he's still like to me of commander class figures until we get more um, you know, I think in Legacy, this guy is my favorite commander class, hands down. You know, just just for what it does and sheer size and everything. So just to get an understanding, he's as big as a commander class. And now we're going to compare him to other Rodami or Rodami. And starting off with him first. And we're going to do like a double comparison with Hot Rod. So here's Hot Rod. And like I said, Hot Rod looks a lot better because of the paint. It's the paint on the rims. But he, these rims, like I said, they, they just need paint. But like I said, even with removing the chrome paint, liquid paint that I had on here, it does give it kind of a pop a little bit, you know, where it's not just looking like, you know, those nasty rims that it was before. So I'm okay with that. And if you think that there's... I'm missing some Rodamai. You're about to see some Rodamai. You haven't seen the Rodamai. That's right, Rodamai, because I'm using plural here. And we're going to move Hot Rod out the way. The next one we're going to go to is Energon Rodimus, man. And my Energon Rodimus was one of my favorite toys. And I haven't, I found this while looking for some other stuff for a friend. He was looking for some weapons. And I need to touch up the paint because it's, it's it's i've had this for a long time i've had this toy since 2005 this is my original i'm not a didn't buy this a few days ago this is the same toy i have i have energon was my joint and this is actually no this is the energon version but i do have a lot of super link um as you can see this is you know one thing i'll say about the colors he, he, if you this is like an interpretation on him and you know he just works and then we have this is Rodimus or hot Rodimus from United and you can see it there 
he has the maroon color, which is, you know, more Rodimus than, you know, even him. He's got the actual maroon color. And just to show off, we have the Titans Return Rodimus Prime. Now, what's amazing about this, this is, the, he's a big guy. In vehicle mode, he kind of cleans up. And one of the things that I do like about him in vehicle mode is the fact that he kind of, his front is short. And with his front being short, and these are repro labels on him as well, so, you know, that's kind of give him a good look. It, he still kind of has that look. And, of course, I painted the rims. I I actually painted these rims, whew, it's about, whew, about maybe two years ago. I was bored one day. But, in, you know, the rims, painted rims on him really do pop because he looked cheap. And, of course, with the rapper labels, it does give him a little more of a better look than he normally does have without him. But, as you can see, <laughs> Rodimus Prime. Uh, Kingdom Rodimus Prime is way bigger. This is almost, he's just so compact. <laughs> it's crazy how big he is. Look at that. Look at the size of that. My gosh. This just, man, you didn't think, a lot of people thought he would be the bigger guy. And I'm like, no, <laughs> he's way bigger. So we're going to set them to the side for a second um, because we're going to compare them, you know, without, you know, without the cab or, you know, trailer, whichever way you want to call it. So I know you probably hear the clicking, clicking noise. It's because I'm getting a uh, hot rod ready or hot rodimus, if you want to call him that. And so I'm going to put him here. Okay. It's a lot of work on this review, y'all. So. I'm going to try to keep it short because I really do got to get out of here. So to take him off, so you can see at least that part, these spring, these are spring loaded, these, you know, exhaust spring loaded. And basically there's a tab here, I'll show you, there's a tab under there and then there's where his, where he locks in right there. You can see that. Not really locks in, but this is where you push them all the way to the back. This is as far as it can go. And you just kind of slide them out. And now we have what I call the off-road version of Hot Rod. But in its defense, I know a lot of people get upset that he, you know, wasn't just a sled like the original G1 toy. But this looks, to me, way better. Let's take a look and compare them. I mean, they're basically the same vehicle, if you want to call it that. But I mean, you know, he looks like 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 a bigger off-road vehicle. Like if this was like your sleek car, um, this would be like the off-road 4x4 version. And because they're the closest to each other, let's look at them from the top. As you can see there. Um, of course, we see them from the sides and you can see... You know how much bigger he is and kind of you know see that get an idea and unfortunately it's not gonna well i might be able to do it like that to kind of voila match it and then from the underside you can see neither one of them have great leg just the, the legs or the feet just hang off on him uh poor guy you know they both suffer from that <laughs> and from the front but he does have the shape, you know, he does have the shape. There's a little borrowing from uh, the original masterpiece there for him, but you can see that. And then let's compare him to good old Rodimus Prime from Energon, as you can see there, how they compare. And then you could see how he compares with Hot Rodimus. Yes, this is Hot Rodimus, the United version. And like I say, he should have more or less these kind of like dark maroon of a brownish color. Because you got to give him credit. The only Hot Rod I did not buy was the one from, not Titans Returns, Power to Primes. Excuse me, Power to Primes, please, y'all. Forgive me. Power to Primes. 
I did not buy the Titans Return one because it does not look like Rodham's to me at all. Like, I'm sorry. It doesn't look like Rodham's to me. All right, everybody. We're back by YouTube Magic. And I transformed Rodimus Prime off camera because I'm going to be honest with you. I'm afraid of breaking it. And two things I want to say about it right off the back. The transformation is not bad. It's not nerve wracking, but it scares me because the arms, it's, it's the same as Hot Rod, but it's larger, but it feels like he feels like you're going to break it. And I don't want to break this toy. And... Like I said, there's I know there's other reviewers that did the transformation. I, kudos for them for doing it, but I, I, I can't afford to break my toys. Man. <laughs> I'm already buying duplicates for paint jobs that have gone awry. So my wife is like, you gotta chill out, and, you know. Plus I collect Jordans. Oh uh, yeah, you probably don't know that either. And I build Gundam, and you will see that soon. I've been building for 25 years. But back to Rodimus, man. Let me tell you. This is under the light. Like, I really haven't seen this under this light. But damn. Damn, they did a good job on this thing, man. Hate it all you want. I, yeah, I had comments. Yo, I don't like Rodimus Prime. Okay, well, guess what? I don't care you don't like Rodimus Prime. This toy right here, right now, is the best Rodimus we ever had. Remember that. So let's get right into what he looks like let's get a close-up of the face i mean he's got that old you know like he's got grown up face you know like just that that is just pure win you know just that let's see if we can get a little close here without my focus getting off hopefully it'll focus come on but that face man that face is that's how he actually looks in Headmasters. And when he first becomes Rodimus in the movie. Like that just that is just pure win. Like you can't you can't you can't go wrong with that. That chiseled look, like he just gets grown out. Oh, and he does that too. Some weirdness going on with the feet there. But he's got the chest, um, articulated fingers. And they do rotate. And you can do I did it in my, uh, <laughs> I did it earlier. <laughs> uh, no wrong answers, please. <laughs> this is the end of the road, Galvatron. <laughs> yeah, man, you could do that. The arm does rotate 360. You got to get blocked by the wing, but you could still do the 360. Leg goes out to here. It's got a nice knee bend. You can see that there. Let's back it up just a bit. I said back up. I ain't saying go forward. All right. So he's got the he's got that, and he actually can get his leg about up to there. He's got the same <laughs> stoppage that Hot Rod has. That I, mm, I never reviewed Hot Rod because it's I I had it too long. I've had it way too long to review it. Um, but that's as far as it goes. Now I want to get you a good look at the back. These panel linings, and that happens too sometimes. I had an issue with that when I first transformed with this, the panel not locking in place on the... And before we go, can he do the Van Damme? Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> but to make up for the Van Damme, he do has waist level, but... Can't do it all the way. He does have waist place on the leg, like you know. So that's another issue that I've been having with him, you know, on both of them. It seems like I got him right, the left leg right. I don't like that either. But it's just some things that don't tab in right a little bit. But look at the back. Look at those lines, man. Look at those lines. I mean, there's details. I like him. Uh, he's hefty. Um, he's fun to. He's just fun to play with. He he looks like Rodimus. Now let's get some weapons in his hand. You know, and he's got the long, you know, smokestacks. You know, he's just he looks like Rodimus in the Matrix. So, so you guys know that's where the Matrix goes, right in the chest. 
We're going to take that out real quick. And as you can see there, let's get a, it's, uh, it's like every other matrix. <laughs> but this one is a little of a faint gold. I actually like this one more than I like the other ones. And, you know, of course, if it's on the chest and you fold it back up. Now, as far as the coloring, um, to me, the legs are right. But he should be a maroon color. Like there's, he's too reddish for me, for my, t for my liking. But, you know, and this is his rifle. Now the rifle folds up like, almost like Prime's gun. And then you can fold it out. As I showed earlier. And then you can put it in his hand. It's a little hollow, but, you know, it's the same rifle. And I think you can do the, if I can get it here, which I probably won't because... I'm not very good at this, uh, but you can do the two-handed pose. This is about as good as I'm going to get with that. So don't expect any, you know, oh, yeah, you know, just don't expect that, okay? And like I said, you can put the sword in the other hand. And I never, I have not put the weapons in his hand, and my hands will be in the way for you complainers. But it looks like the sword kind of fits kind of like that, and you just wrap it around, and it's... You know, and this store is underneath, but, it's, you know, so I'm going to keep him in robot mode for sure. Like, he's not going to go any other, like, I'm not going to transform this too much. You know, like I said, probably when I get the stickers, like I said, I got to find that Etsy page. I wish uh, Larkin was doing it, but it's some other guy, you know, so this is, this is the look, the iconic look. Now let's get into this. And another thing I have not played with this trailer. See y'all. This is like a first time for me. So I'm still kind of like on the kitty level and just like, oh my god, it's a trailer. So yeah, keep the weapons under there. And just kind of pull that out. And you unfurl that. And I do believe that you can kind of see there's some hydraulics there. See his pins? It's that metal or plastic looking metal. It kind of folds out. And I know I'm doing this wrong. Let me get that. Let me get that right. And then of course the trailer opens up. As you can see that and this trailer is not. This ain't no cheap trailer, y'all. This is not a cheap trailer. This is this is definitely not a cheap trail and you like I say you can see all the weapons there and there's the platform and now this part because I already had it in stored on all right and we're back so we got the base mode and I wanted to go back because I had looked at my instructions and this is it and this is the base mode and I wanted to show this one more time because you can put a lot of these ports here but the best ones you want to use are these like just I just want to say that because all the other ones I, I, I didn't like those like they just didn't they didn't do it for me these work they're, they're about the same these other ones I'll show you what you can do with them so that little peg right there you're gonna place that here and it goes in the middle I was thinking that you can do it over here but no it goes in the middle and it actually rolls now I'm gonna say this this base is way better than Optimus Prime's base this is it's heavier, it's beefier, it feels very good. Like, I'm telling you, 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 you're going to be a lot happier with this one than you are Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime's base is weak. It's just bananasly weak. They, I would have paid an extra 10 to $20 if they gave us a better trailer. Point blank. They could have made Prime a commander class and just gave us like a nice, hefty trailer. Um, but the caveat is this doesn't close. But what you could do with these, and I've been doing when I was playing with it a couple of days ago, is make put them in different. There's so many ports here. You see all these five millimeter ports? Look at that. They're everywhere. And just put these and make it look like explosions. You know, like he's, you know, you put one here if you want. See? You know, oh my God, my weapon's not working, you know, or. You know something you know crazy and then just stick it there like he's under attack 
And then what you want to do is same way that I had the sword near, you're going to take his hands and just position him. Ah, if I can get him in there, come on, come on, get him in there just like that. Same thing on the other side and you can move the thumb out the way, <laughs> the thumb out the way. And you know, you can do them like that. And the thing that this makes it cool because he can roll, you know, you can kind of get that, you know, that playability. That is, this is, so I know a lot of people complain about this, but the playability on this is just amazing. Just hands out amazing. This thing, he literally can roll like he, and the wheels are moving. And you can see here the uh, spring-loaded, um, these things, uh, exhaust actually uh you know help with stability so this this right here is it's nice it's just it's a great toy like i like this better than optimus prime so much so that i don't have my original earthrise prime it broke and i was still going to buy another earthrise prime um but i have the walmart version um you know and then like i said it was it, look you it, it, hey you want to put a port here you want to put a weapon there? You want to? You want to? I think it'll fit. Will it fit? No, it won't go in there. Nope, it won't go. I, I didn't test that out yet. That's why I'm doing that. But God, man, this 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 is a good toy. This is hands down a good toy. So what are we gonna do next? I'm gonna do comparisons, and then I'm just gonna gush final thoughts, and I'll be right back. So we're going to go through a lot of comparisons. Let's go. First up, my terribly customized Generations RC. Next up is Legends Blur from the Legends line, AKA Titans Return, because this is my favorite blur. These are the toys that are on my shelf. So please keep that in mind. Here he is next to Legends Cup from the AKA Titans Return line, the Japanese Takara repaint. Here he is next to Studio Series 86 Rekgar. And he's Voyager scale, so pretty much they're about the exact same size together. Here he is next to Siege Voyager Class Springer. And they look good together. That's his homeboy. Here he is next to Titans Return Deluxe Class Preceptor. Boy, I can't wait till we get the Studio 86 version of him. Ooh, Studio Series 86 can't come anytime sooner. I'm getting a little annoyed with this Preceptor now. Let's move on. Here he is next to Leader Class from, I mean, Kingdom Leader Class Ultra Magnus with the uh, DK14K upgrades to make him taller. And this works. I mean, even though they do make him and Rodimus the same size, I still think that uh, Ultra Magnus is a big boy and he doesn't need to be looking squat. So I like this look better. And let's move on. Here he is next to the myth, the legend, the Netflix version of the Earthrise Optimus Prime, and yeah, it's like this is still a good figure. Let me, let me just clear it up. But ah, oh man, this the Seedum Boy. And if you are familiar with the Japanese lore of Headmasters, there's the episode of The Birth of the Double Convoy, where the two of them are together. And this Prime, this version of Prime, has really grown on me. I I used I used to be like against him, but now that I have him, I think he looks better than the Earthrise version. That's just my opinion. Oh, and we're not done. Now it's time to get down to the Rodimus comparisons. Here he is next to Titans Return Hot Rod. Here he is next to Energon Rodimus Prime, or just Rodimus. And well, you know, this is. <laughs> it's a lot better but at one point this was a lot of people's Rodimus you know because we didn't have even Chug yet so just keep that in mind let's move on here he is next to Un Transformers United Hot Rodimus or 
basically they you know refer to him as Rodimus Prime. Um, his colors are a lot better. Um, he's supposed to be like he is supposed to be actually the hot rod before he becomes Rodimus. If you, I guess, I don't know the lore behind it, but this was the United one. This one was actually kind of rare uh, at one point. And I kind of wish his colors were more darker towards that, but that's just nitpicking. This one still is far better. And we got a few more to go. So hang in there. Then, of course, next to the Studio Series Voyager, Studio Series 86 Voyager, aka Deluxe Hot Rod. And the last one of the comparisons, this is going to be the Kingdom Leader Class. Galvatron and they stand well together though I'm I'm not offense about Galvatron being this like about half a head larger than Rodimus I mean and here's the group shot of what I have so far um for Studio 80 not just for the 86 class I mean I can throw Grimlock and Slag and everybody else in there but I'm just going with the characters that you know I you know, kind of remember and, and I have with me. I didn't bring all the toys with me. Um, but, you know, you can see that there. And, uh, yeah, it's a nice group shot. I might have to even take a picture of that. <laughs> all right, and then we'll do one more group shot and then we'll do the final thoughts. And here he is with the Council of Rodimus or Rodami. And they're looking on to the strongest one which is, of course, Kingdom Rodimus Prime. And now for the final thoughts. All right. And for the final thoughts, let's just call it what it is. This is a fantastically solid toy. It has more playability than the leader class Optimus Prime. The trailer... Uh, is much more beefier, much more sturdier plastic. Um, Rodimus has decent articulation, um, not as great as um, a lot of other Kingdom or Studio Series 86 figures, <coughs> but he has it. What he lacks to me is just the paint on the rims, which, like I said, you can fix that in various ways. I think that'll make the toy really pop. Um, but he does have articulated fingers. Um, you know, he has everything that you can ask for in a Rodimus toy. It's the best looking Rodimus. It's the Studio Ox design. Hands down, you get a sturdy, just overall beefy guy. And I think that in some ways, he's a lot better than Optimus Prime. Not better as a leader for some of y'all. So I know y'all take this very seriously, but better overall as a toy and a very nice toy. Um, is he worth the price point? If you can get him at $79.99, 80 bucks, yes. Now, when I got him, I paid $89.99. Actually, I paid one cent more, $90. And it was $6 to ship it from $6.95 from the guy that was selling it. It got here in two days. It was actually in my area. And they had it set to deliver on Sunday, but for some reason they screwed it up and I didn't get it till Monday. Uh, and it was shipped on Friday. So that tells you right there from it, it. The guy had very fast shipping and I think he did up the price on the shipping. But overall, you know, the transaction was smooth. Um, I have on a hard time finding this guy, um, but uh, I think CMD store got him and a few other places now finally got him in. So. You know, if I got to buy a second one because I screw up some stuff, I'm going to get a second one. I definitely like this toy. I can't put it down. I think it's a great looking figure. I think that it captures the essence of Rodimus Prime, just like Studio 86. Studio Series 86 captured the essence of Hot Rod. This one captures the essence of Rodimus Prime. Um, you can nitpick about certain things, but there's no other Rodimus Prime you need. If you, Titan's Return is just... It's, it's not good and I mean all the other ones they just don't compare to this so I, this is a solid this is a solid fantastic piece go out and buy it those are my final thoughts I'm through I want to thank everybody for watching the video going through my mistakes a lot of editing this probably won't go up until 
maybe Saturday afternoon. So other than that, I thank everybody for coming to my channel. Please like, subscribe, and share. Please tell your friends. The Road to 1000, please help a brother get there. I'd love to breach that benchmark. I'm so close. Um, I do apologize. I'm very busy at work because we don't know where storms, you know, come. And I work for a utility company, a uh, very large <laughs> Fortune 50 utility company. So I get called in a lot. Um, you know, so that's why I haven't really been doing reviews. And I, I just, I'm tired, guys. But I built this one out and I got one more to go. So peace and see you soon and see you soon. Bye bye.